So you're Red Cross nurse then? I was. I used to be. Right. I did 21 years in the British Red Cross, Commandant of Devon 152. Okay. But what? that uh, finished some years ago. But training doesn't go out of the mind. <laughs> what did you do when you were in the Red Cross? Uh, in the Red Cross, um, I used to organise all the lectures, all the exams. Um, and I also do a lot of duties myself, which included cinema duties, going to a race course uh, in case there was an accident on the race course. At one time I was on the actual course itself with three flags, one for the vet, one for the ambulance and one for the jockey right. in case they were needed. And it's surprising how high those jumps are. It's quite frightening to see them come over so near to you. Um, escort duties. All sorts of things. How long was that, sorry? Um, how long? Yeah. Um, how many years? You yes, mean? sorry. I did 21 years. And that was all voluntary? All voluntary, every bit. Uh, almost a full-time job when I was commandant because it was arranging all sorts of things, you know. And, um, yeah, it was a lot of paperwork as well, yeah. like there is in every job. Yeah. So you had another job around that? Yes. I also was at home, obviously, because of the children. But I also worked part time in a, in the uh, bar, Swan's Nest, on the food bar. Alright. Yeah. That's all the updated of all the courses I did, so I could. In, I was on the instructors panel. I could teach, you see, and that was all the updated, yeah. you know, um, things to say. I could go on year after year. No, it's just exams. These are all certificates for exams in here. All the, all the all the exams I took over the years. Went to the guild hall for all the presentations. Mm. But I have one there to see, that was my notebook. So I was commandant. Well that's the one to say I was appointed commandant. Medal Service Award. Okay, and uh, while you were in the Red Cross, mm -hmm. you went to see the Queen, did you? Yes, I was privileged to go to Buckingham Palace where I was presented to Her Majesty the Queen. Yes, and okay. she had a, a long chat. And she was very, very nice. And although there's hundreds of people around, she made you feel it was just yourself and her. That was on. In the park, going to Buckingham Palace. I had no choice of what I had to wear. Yeah. I had to wear uniform, of course. So that was fun. But she, she was very, very uh, interested in Exeter and where we had our premises in St Leonard's Road and all the activities we did. She was very, very nice. Okay. Yeah. Also at the party, Duke of Edinburgh, Princess Margaret, um, Princess Anne and lots of other members of the royal family. And we were all very, very close. I was as close to Prince Philip as I am to you. And he was telling us jokes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. it was very good. Okay. Nice day. No photographs allowed inside, unfortunately. Um, it was a buffet right out into the gardens. Um, I, I believe she, her china was gold rimmed and ours was silver. And we had iced tea. <laughs> what, when was that? What year was that? Um, I think it was 72. Okay. Yeah. Must have been 72, I think. It's a long time ago. <laughs> I can't remember. Yeah. The year.